Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Rest From Off The Cuff. I actually wasn't planning to do this video, but I thought it would be really, really helpful. So with the announcement of, you know, the blue model coming to 40 millimeters, um, me owning the black 42 and a blue 42, I was really on the fence about the 40 millimeter size and I really wanted to try it out. Um, I had still hadn't had a chance to. Um, and I was actually, I have been planning and, and will eventually be releasing a video about uh, basically uh, Submariner and Seamaster alternatives, kind of that uh, classic essential, you know, dive watch, um, whether it's black and steel or blue and steel, um, you know, those two and mainly, you know, of course, Rolex and then Omega being a, a kind of uh, another option. Um, always are at the head of the, the top of the list, and for good reason. They have a formula that works, and uh, they offer a ton of value. Now, uh, with that said, I've kind of been planning to do a video, and I figured uh, I would actually ask Chris Ford, hey, could you send over a 40 millimeter model? One, for me to finally see how these things wear, and two, uh, for me to use in the video, because I figured I'd be comparing it with other 40 millimeter models, although the Seamaster has grown, um, it's I believe a 42 now. So um, I basically got this loaner in with the intent of putting it in that video, uh, you know, to kind of represent uh, the Christopher Ward Trident Mark III. But um, as I wore it and looked at it and, and really just kind of got my actual eyes on it, I realized that I think I will be using the 42 millimeter in that video because honestly, I think the 42 for me has the optimal, you know, not even just for me. I think from a design perspective, purely visual, the 42 is the Trident Mark III. Uh, the 38 is a scaled down version and the 40 is also a scaled down version. But I think from a design perspective, this thing was designed to work at the 42 millimeter scale and everything else is just and you know an optional size um, if that makes sense and I'm gonna go over with you guys some of the differences for me that kind of made me I guess it's a little bit of a relief um, considering I have the 42 millimeter sizes as I think for any other models like if I buy the white dial I think I'm also gonna go 42 um, not that it's available in the 40 but I won't sit around waiting for more 40 millimeter options to be released slowly, right? Obviously, uh, what's missing here is the 38. I've had 38 millimeter Tridents before, not in the Mark III, but generally they were too small for me. I was hoping that the 40 uh, would be that sweet spot. On paper, it really is, but you know, with a lot of the tricks um, that the Mark III Trident has, uh, I think it's just better suited for the 42, and I think, um, you guys can let me know in the comments if you think I'm nuts, but I'm hoping that maybe this can help a couple of you guys out because I don't have a super uncommon wrist size at uh, just seven inches and uh, you know 7.25 or seven and a quarter inch wrist. So with that said, let's get these pieces in hand and take a closer look. Okay, now as far as like the full specs, you guys saw them go across the screen. Also, um, you've seen uh, you know if you've been on the internet. Or YouTube, you've seen the full reviews. You've seen my full reviews. Um, you know, I've even reviewed the kind of the evolution of the blue uh, shades uh, for these uh, C60s. I think they're great watches. All, all the merits, everything's the same. But now I'm just particularly talking about the size, the scale, and the proportions um, on these watches, and why I really think the 42 shines here. Now, um, you know, there are some differences. It's not just like this is just smaller in diameter. Um, it actually is a bit thinner uh the 40 is only going to be uh 12.95 millimeters thick versus the 13 and a half millimeters thick here on uh the 42 but of course a wider space it's going to wear a little bit flatter and uh with the these really beautiful chamfers and everything that we have on this light catcher case they're both going to wear uh, much thinner than their thicknesses on paper would have you believe um also uh, you know, again, everything is, it's apples to apples. Everything else is, you know, pretty much the same. But when you look at, let's say the bracelet here, you have the 22 millimeter, uh, tapering down to an 18. So you just have that beautiful 
ratio there 22 down to 18 similar to let's say a rolex sub which is going to taper from 20 down to 16 and then it's going to have you know an 18 millimeter clasp here it's still milled uh it's it's actually quite thin really gorgeous but you can see that taper that refinement and also because it's thicker when you have that thicker center link there to me it just looks more proportional versus here you have that really wide center link and the taper just doesn't go down as much so you know when you look at that it's just less appealing for me uh you know some of you might say hey that's the way just the way you like it that's just what the doctor ordered but i think from a design perspective there you can see that that wide center link just suits the wider case a bit better and honestly when these are on wrist neither of them you know this doesn't really feel oversized i you know i only wanted to see what it was like smaller because it was available smaller uh this one on wrist because of the way that the the case contours right here see how it just has a real nice sweep in in this in that actually helps the watch wear a bit smaller and because of that you already have a smaller case i almost feel like this one um i wouldn't say on a wristy feels small but i think when you have a big profile shot it does feel a little bit small and then because of the uh the proportions there and the ratios on the bezel the bezel feels just a little bit thinner with the uh with the dial actually feeling not that much smaller than the dial here on the 42 and then of course you know uh everybody hates uh the 12 o'clock there is they both do uh have that uh you know the new logo there i think it looks great uh i think that actually the blank space the negative space is something that's become a real hallmark for them as a brand i don't know what they're going to do moving forward um but i have no problem with the way these look and i think if they threw contrasting flags on there it wouldn't hurt the uh the formula, uh, but I, if they never did that, I don't think I'd ever be upset about it. So um, that might be what some people only came to watch this video for, so they could comment on the rebranding and the logo and how much uh, it sucks and it's stopping them from owning such a great watch. Um, <laughs> don't believe me? Check out the comments. Now, everything else, guys, you know, very similar there, but of course with a smaller diameter, when you have that thickness, it's just gonna feel a bit thicker. Um, here with the uh, wider diameter it's just for me it spreads the weight the visual weight and also you know the, I guess like the, the thickness on the wrist the way it feels as far as how much it's protruding and feeling like it's on top of the wrist versus wrap it around the wrist um, so all this talk of wrist shots and whatnot let's actually get these on wrist and uh, see how it goes all right as you can see the you know, that 42 on my seven and a quarter inch wrist works really, really great. You know, of course, up close, it's going to appear a little bit big. You're going to see that beautiful taper there. Great articulation, that beautifully milled clasp that does have the micro adjuster. You're going to have that here as well. Um, but from the underneath, you're going to see that they are really no different in size. It's just as you roll the wrist over, you're going to get a look now at the taper. And, you know, you're going to have the much more subdued taper here on the 40 millimeter model versus the more dramatic there, which uh, really leads, and I feel like visually just flows a bit better. Then you're gonna look at the thickness there, you know, not much of a difference. Obviously it's, you know, probably a millimeter difference. Um, and that's normally just, it's just gonna be relieved by your eye. But then you take a look here, really up close. Um, of course, it's not gonna appear as oversized, but then once you get down into here, I feel like this does feel a bit small um i don't know what it is it's just maybe it's i'm jaded because i've already worn and enjoyed the 42 but i just feel like visually this is maybe it's because the the dial actually is not that much smaller so it's a larger dial with a smaller bezel which is just a different set of proportions there and i feel like maybe the empty space makes the dial feel big which somehow is making the case feel small in comparison versus here their proportions you know uh not much of a bigger dial as you can see i mean on the 38 you get a, a much you actually do get a decently smaller dial um because you can see that you'll be missing that uh, three o'clock indice here you're only getting just a hair shaved on the dial but because of the shrinked size you're actually going to lose thickness in that uh, bezel width there so 
you know, it's not a bad wearing watch by any means. Um, I do also find that uh, I feel like this one I was able to get a kind of a better fit on out of the box. Although this does offer, of course, the micro adjusts. So if you haven't seen my full videos and you're just like, this was your first impression of just the uh, the C60 Mark III in general, you can see there uh, that you do get those micro adjusts. So I did loosen it a little bit there. So that fits a little bit nicer now. But yeah, I mean, obviously you're just thinking I'm crazy right now if I think that looks too small. It doesn't look too small. It doesn't, it doesn't look bad, but I just feel like my eyes drawn more to the size of the dial, which just feels a bit large for the watch at this scale. And maybe that's what's making everything feel small. And then you have that mixed with the much thicker, well, it's the same size center link, but it just never gets wider on the outer links versus here you get much, you know, it comes in, opens up more, which to me has a bit more of a balance and you see the way that that ties into the lugs. It has a real nice proportion, almost thirds, but here you're gonna see that it's, you know, not anywhere near those same proportions. Um, you're just gonna get real thin slivers there um, with the center link really being much more predominant. I know some of you are probably pretty excited to see a watch on my left wrist because I'm left-handed. <laughs> and oh, you're wearing it on the wrong wrist. But uh, yeah, so I wear my watch uh, naturally on the right wrist for me. Um, so yeah, I mean, am I nuts, guys? Let me know what you think. Um, you know what? Everybody loves a good loom shot. Not that there's any reason for me to do this because they're just completely equal in loom. But let's just go ahead and actually do a quick little loom shot and do some final thoughts. All right, let's go ahead and hit the lights. Oh yeah, we all love it. Outstanding loom. The thing I love about this loom, um, because it's that X1 grade C1, um, you actually do get a much stronger loom out of the C1 and you still get the whiteness um, when it's fully lit, basically, when you're in a daytime situation. It's not gonna have any tint of green or anything like that. And I also like to do low light transitions. You guys can get an idea of the finishing, the way the colors play. Of course here, not too much color play on the dial, besides maybe a little bit of red text. Um, everything else is gonna be black there, but you can see the real glossy nature, but you can look at the brushing, the uniformity over that beautiful bracelet, modern bracelet, modern clasp, uh, the beautiful chamfers there. I hope this isn't your first time finding out what a Trident C60 Mark III is. I hope you've seen some of my more in-depth reviews and just the ones that are available online. Uh, but just in case you haven't, then you, at least now you get an idea of what this bad boy looks like in non-optimal lighting. But as that comes back, let's just talk again, I guess closing thoughts, guys. Everything stays, and if you really want more of my full opinion on this watch in general, definitely check out uh, the full reviews. Um, everything's really equal uh, as far as specs, value for money, all that goes. I'm just saying for size, proportion, and really what's the optimal trident for me, for size-wise. Um, and I thought, and I really questioned if the 40 was gonna be that sweet spot um, because I knew that the 38 was just a little bit too small. I have been gravitating towards smaller watches. Um, I think that's kind of where the market's going. But 42 is not oversized by any means. I mean, there are people that have wished that they'd make a 42 millimeter Submariner for the longest time. Um, and that's why there's actually quite a few homages uh, at that size. Um, but for me, I think you distill down the Trident C60 Mark III, and uh, I think when they really put this thing together, it's not like they, they came up with a 40 millimeter dimensions and they sized it up uh, you know, by a millimeter, and then they sized it down by a millimeter. I think basically they just shrunk it down essentially for the 38 and the 40, and the bracelet is obviously a carryover for the 38 and the 40. So for me, um, I just get more visual pleasure, I guess, out of wearing the, the 42. I think it's really gorgeous. And it's actually quite a relief now because since I own two 42s, uh, that the 40 is not, for me anyway, not a better fit. Um, it's not to say that it's a bad watch. I just, for me, um, I'm going to be totally fine wearing the 42 versus the 40. So uh, obviously there's been limited 
Uh, numbers on the 40 millimeters, they've been just in black. Again, I think with in mind of, okay, we'll compete against the Submariner lovers, black and steel, 40 millimeter sports watch. Um, you know, so I think that's definitely what was a thought. There's tons of options and variations and whatnot online now. They're releasing new ones all the time. Uh, you know, recently there's an Ombre COSC model, which is like 1135 bucks, uh, basically the same uh, price as the GMT model. And then there's like this crazy in-house skeletonized Apex LE uh, limited edition, which basically is 40 is 4,000 bucks, over $4,000 on bracelet and that thing is nuts uh, a little a little too over the top for me i think i enjoy their more subdued looks um and i think the minimalist designs are a little bit cleaner more classic carry over longer um, also one side note, one thing that I did notice also about the 40 versus the 42, I feel like the 42 just has a little bit of a tighter bezel action, uh, you know, recording them or anything like that, doing it on camera is not really going to tell you anything. They're going to sound pretty similar, um, but it's more in the feel. I feel like the, there was a little, it was just a little bit looser on, uh, the 40 millimeter, um, you know, that could just be the variance of each model, uh, model to model, unit to unit, but I feel like my uh, bezel action on, I have two 42 millimeters, I have the blue model, and I have this black, and I feel like they both just felt a little bit tighter and more dialed in. Actually, like, really exceptional um, versus the 40, which felt a little bit light, still felt good, it had a nice clicks and everything to it it just felt a little bit looser not quite as dialed in or refined so just another side note again and uh you know guys look check one let me know what you guys think in the comments all right i do enjoy the feedback obviously if it's just like pure negativity you just need a punching bag and to get something off your chest i guess you could use my comments for that i prefer you don't um I'd much rather, you know, kind of get some thoughts. Maybe you guys can enlighten me on some things I haven't thought about when it comes to looking at these two different sizes, you know, something that makes a 40 the perfect watch for you um, versus, you know, maybe something that you don't like about the 42 that I'm just really enjoying. Again, I'm not some huge wristed, ham fisted man. Um, I, uh, you know, I think 42 is kind of on the large size uh, side for me, especially um, now, uh, kind of as I get a little bit older. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, if I missed something, if you just had this amazing point, feel free to share it. Um, and you know, uh, also keep an eye out for that Submariner Alternatives video. It's still going to come, but I'm just going to pretty much focus on the 42 millimeter model because I feel like that's kind of the prime version now. I feel like I've confirmed that's the prime version of the Trident Mark III. So that's what I'll use to represent the brand and the model in the video. So keep an eye out for that. If you liked the video, please do a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks, guys.